Hey guys and welcome to another video, but not just a regular video. Today is the very special day and that I'm proud to announce that this is the beginning of a brand new segment called Your Challenges. And this is where I go <coughs> in with a with a custom lowdown that you guys make for me in the comments section of each video and I'll do my best to get 20 kills or more. Now, that might seem a bit low, but I'm really crap, so here's what we're going to do. Today's one is suggested by Christine Jones from YouTube. She commented and said the M19 uh, experimental, but I'd take it she meant M1903. She then said the C93. Uh, what was it? Sniper shield, flare gun flash, mini grenade, oh great, and the hatchet. Okay, so we have lost objective Duff. this seems alright, we'll, we'll see how I go. We have taken objective butter. Hopefully I do okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to like cut in and out of just different parts of the video and I'm going to stop talking here and do an over commentary as I edit it. So thank you for joining and I'll let you listen to my to my dodger commentary. And we're back. Okay, so basically what I wanted to do with this is um like with these um you know, challenges that you guys give me. What I'll do is I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the guns battles. that I'm using and the equipment and stuff like that. So f we're going to start off with the rifle. Um, the Springfield M1903 is the original bolt action rifle of which this this variation of the rifle came about. Um, the original Springfield rifle was made in 1903 and is still and was still used up to 1974 it it starred in anywhere um starred in it was used in um wars as the philippine war the philippine american war i should say the mexican revolution world war one world war two chinese civil war korean war vietnam war i'm not going to list them all but yeah um yeah so there were over a million of these built. A million rifles of these. Wow. Um, and obviously it was made and designed in 1903, hence the M1903. Um, but that's not the gun I'm using. The gun I'm using is a variation of the Springfield. And this is called the M1903 Mark One. Now, it's really quite awesome because the the ammo clip that you can see we have taken um, sticking out of the side of the gun is called a Penderson device. Now, this device um, holds 30, 30, 30 caliber. I think it's 30 caliber pistol bullets. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm reading it here and it's dot 30, so I'm pretty sure that's 30 caliber. But yeah, um, that was designed in 1917 and produced in 1918 to 1920. So it was used only really in um, we are losing objective World War I. Um, it, it, was, it was pretty successful apparently. Um, it had a 40 box. 40 round box magazine, um, it was a simple blowback um, mechanism, same as pistols, so when you fire it, that, that boxy iron sight thing pulls back, another round is, uh, another round is put into the, the chamber and it just, uh, instead of having to have a pull bolt, so um, approximately around 65,000 of these devices were made. Uh, 1.6 million cartridges, uh, sorry, magazines and 65 million cartridges, um, and like 101,000 modified sniper rifles, or Springfield rifles. So 101,000 of these rifles are made. Um, yeah. Um, they were declared as a surplus 
1931 to prevent them from falling into the hands of the lawless. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it, really. That's all there is to know about it. Um, we have lost but I want to also talk about the C-93 pistol. Because, um, not many people know about it. But it is actually one of the first semi-automatic pistols that were ever around. Um, this pistol was featured in Red Dead Redemption, I believe. If I, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it was. Um, we have lost objective if not, then a similar, similar one. But let's get on with it. It was a, it, its place of origin was Germany. Um, it just looks like a German pistol. It just looks like something Germany would come up with. Um, it was designed in 1893, and it was um, designed by Ludwig Low and Company. No, sorry, they manufactured it. Um, um, the designer was Hugo <coughs> Borkart. That's, that's a very interesting one. Um, the cartridge is a 7, 7.65 by 25mm. And the calibre is 7.65. So, I'm, I, I can't really put bullets up. Like, bullet pictures up on the, on the screen, but it's, it's, it wouldn't be too big, obviously. Um, but yeah, the cool thing about this is that it, it had a toggle lock system, a toggle lock system, um, which meant that the gun fired in a two, uh, the gun fired a two-piece armor mode and flexed as the gun recoiled, thus allowing the breach or the ejection of, of the the ejecting bullet. We have lost objective uh, oh no, the breach, sorry. Is, yeah, it's where the bullet comes out um, to unlock and release any cartridge cases. So, where it is, it's on top of the pistol and it fires kind of up and out Halfway kind there, of thing. Most pistols um, eject from the side. You'll see most pistols eject from the side. Um, but another cool thing about this is that from this pistol, the C93, the Mauser came about, and um, from the Mauser, the uh, oh, what's the other one? I can't think. The Luger. No, sorry, the Luger first, then the Mauser. So this was one of the original ones for the German army um, that created such a um, recognizable and noticeable pistol. I'm sure if we all saw a Luga or like a Mauser we'd know instantly. Oh, that's, that's a Luger or a Mauser. That's even one of those German pistols, you know, if you don't know the name. So it's, it's really quite an interesting um, bit of history to learn with these things because, you know, why not learn a bit of history while we're watching this? Um, yeah, so... This is actually a really interesting loadout. Um, I have to thank Christine for this. Um, she suggested it. She doesn't even really play this game. She just watches me and notices that these are one of the names that that I've used. Uh, one of the names of the guns that I've I've used. Um, got a really nice double kill there. Thank you for whoever laid that uh, trip mine. <laughs> we have taken objective um, Charlie. But yeah. Um, I want to do this more often. Um, these these historical lessons while while gameplay is in the background, because one I get to switch it up a bit and learn about new guns, learn the history of weaponry. Because I myself I love I love learning about new things, um, and especially such a primitive not primitive I'm not going to say primitive but such an early age of um of weaponry like we only really had rifles and to have something like um, like this where they actually injected or not injected but put something onto another rifle for it to make it fire pistol rounds is, is really phenomenal like I myself wouldn't even think about that you know like I know some rifles can fire different size bullets and all that but but yeah for something like that um, yeah, it's just phenomenal. Um, designers back then. I mean, obviously it was used to kill people and designed 
to make it easier for other people to kill others or kill the German Empire, and, you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, it's not good that it was made, but I just think it's incredible that someone thought of these, you know. Um, it's really funny here. <laughs> this guy closed the door as I was coming around. I couldn't really even see him, and I was just waiting for him. I didn't know what he did. I think he ran past me or something like that, but he, yeah. I, no, I don't know what happened, but yeah. I ended up dying anyway. So, with these, with these challenges, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use every single item that is suggested. So, um... I've, I've gotten the grenade kills, I've gotten the kills with the M1903, I've got the kills with a hatchet. Um, not all of them are in the video, obviously, because as it is, it's already 13 minutes. I have to commentary over to all, that, all of that. Um, but it is in there. I did show one, so there's proof. Um, but then I wanted to use a sniper shield too, because I thought, you know what? No one's going to really be able to notice me, especially when all of this stuff is going on. I don't have cover, so it was a good idea to put it down. Um, you just got to pick your moments, I guess, because you can't really put it out in the open like I did and get away with it all the time. So it's just one of those things that you have to be careful with. Um, with this round, it was really difficult because the enemy team was just all over us. Um, we couldn't capture an objective long enough. You see what I mean? Like, it's... The sniper shield isn't super effective, but it is effective to a degree. Um, but yeah, I tried to use the flare as efficiently as possible, but sometimes I get stuck in situations like that. Um, you know, there's been times in the past. But yeah, we're getting to the end of the video. Um, I'm just clearing up a couple more kills and then and then we'll the round ends. But I'd really like to thank you for clicking on the video. Um, if you want to see more of this, please leave your your suggested um, what's it called? Your suggested um, challenges in the in the comment section, and I'll pick one um, within. I don't know really, I'll, I'll just pick one, and then yeah, we'll, we'll pick it up from there, and then we'll do the challenge. Um, so I passed, I got 23 kills, or 22 kills or something like that, so it, yeah, 22, okay, so I ended up, I ended up passing the challenge, but once again, I'd like to really thank you for clicking on the video, um, if you'd like to see more, leave a like, share it, do whatever, alright, thanks guys.